basically trying to groom the next generation of song leaders in our churches and, and trying to keep this musical tradition alive. You know, God's people are the only ones that sing. Uh, other, other religions, they don't sing. You, you won't find those hymnals in Books A Million. How did you find out about this place? The guy who taught me how to sing, he's been telling me for years, I should try and come to the, some of these camps. I was always busy with a different uh, camp at the time, but I thought, well, I have some extra time, so I gave me this brochure, and uh, last year I finally said, okay, I'll go to it, and found our way up here. <laughs> I'm from here. I've started since the beginning. My family has been a part of it. How you like it? I love it. Look forward to it every year. Always get to meet new people. Keeps growing and growing. Never know who's going to be here next. First year doing this, we had tents. We had tent classes we in our tents across the creek on the other side of the creek. We cleaned that <laughs> bank out over there and set up tents. Uh, I'm the principal, so to speak, so I kind of coordinate everything, get students placed. I also teach private voice, and um, I'm actually teaching choral conducting to one student. Um, but because of the needs we have, we have uh, a few students who are kind of a little too advanced for the level that they're in, but not advanced enough for the next one up. So I'm going to pull those three out and teach a custom class for them tomorrow. So I'll be kind of a jack of all trades this week. So we'll have four classrooms and then some private lessons going on. Used to, there were singing schools, and I guess you remember, through the summer, you, you could, a lot of your churches had singing schools. They taught singing schools. It's not even being taught in Lawrence County anymore. Why is that? Not enough interest. No interest. They don't have time to go, I reckon. They, there's no interest. Well, since I've been here, I've learned how to better lead, lead music at my church and to project my voice and actually read music better. And right now I'm learning piano. I've just started Monday. So I'm slowly getting to that. I started learning what each note was and like what it was worth and like what a pitch was what is a song and now i'm learning the differentiation between sharps and flats and chords and how to make music by myself so now i'm writing my own basically you can tell it's a it's a beautiful place the kids one of their highlights is being able to come play in the creek and catch crawdads and and things like that but this chapel is where we sing each day we start each day with a devotion and then we sing several times a day all together as a group we're kind of on three levels here as we go up the hill hopefully we won't have too much trouble getting up here sometimes the gravel cooperates and sometimes it doesn't i like the scenery all the trees and the creek it's really um, calming. It's a nice place to go and get a little bit of peace and quiet sometimes. It's been a blessing. Right as you get here, it's like you're part of the family. people that donate money to the school too. They, they have a good singing friend, someone that passes away. We have people that will send money to the school in memory of them and to help support the school. We give away a scholarship every year, Alfred Mashburn scholarship every year. And we give a scholarship to the most improved student, all around student. and. Uh, of course, Macon County. We have people down here that comes from Macon County to help us with the school. Uh, one, uh, he teaches and she, she does in the mess hall, the dorms, whatever. <laughs> and uh, they, Macon County has a singing school and 
they send a student scholarship, a scholarship every year. And as we come to the top, our dormitory, it's one building, but it's divided into two halves. We have our females stay on the left and the males stay on the right. And never the twain shall meet. We make sure that they stay segregated. Uh, same thing with the bathrooms on the downstairs. Very rustic, but we have a lot of fun with it. This is our mess hall. This is where we eat and uh, gather and have fellowship. Also, we end the night with refreshments each night. For breakfast, we have eggs and gravy. Sausage and bacon. Bacon, biscuit, and, and tomatoes and cantaloupe and cereal if they want it. Yeah, they, they're all a black breakfast for sure. <laughs> and most of the time for lunch we have sandwiches and a chips, and but we always have a dessert. But to say I'm coming and some of them know nothing no more about music, don't know how to beat time, don't know anything about it, when they leave here on Saturday, uh, when we have our clothes, they're beating time and they just, they let me. And you see all the difference in the world and the sound yeah. and how they can sing. That makes it worth all of it. That's right. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. My main career goal is either going to be, be a singer or if that falls out, I'm planning on being a music teacher so I can better help people come up in the way of music so they can better learn how to sing. We use the shape note method of notation which is it's just different. It, uh, it allows an, for an easier time for someone to be able to read music and, and reproduce it with success faster than they might with a classical education but it leads right into a classical music education also. This is how I started was with the shape note method and now I have a master's degree in vocal performance. I wish the Lawrence County would really get involved from a standpoint. Our churches need some good music teaching. You got you don't have anybody that knows music hardly anymore because there's no schools being taught. Well, tell me what's going to happen. Uh, you guys, I know you love doing this. What's going to happen after you guys? Who's up next? We just hope and pray somebody steps up. That's all I can tell you. You don't have anybody in the wings? Uh-uh. Not right now. We had uh, a son-in-law, or son-in-law, brother-in-law. Yeah, but he's had a stroke and can't teach now. He's in there now, and he told me, he said, Jesse, you know I'd still be happy if I could. And it's, you know, it's, we look around, and of course, we don't know God holds the future. Not to trust him. Bye -bye.